This video is brought to you by the lovely sponsors below. Thank you so much for your support. Welcome fellow masters, my name is Musaki from Kaudia Gurus and I'm here with a bit of an update. So last night in the middle of the stream, if you guys weren't able to catch it, FGO main news website was updated with an important announcement. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, is that is an important game engine update. This is for Fate Grand Order NA, so JP players don't need to worry, it's just for the NA folks. Now, as it says here, in an updated schedule for June 2020, the game engine will change from Unity 5 to Unity 2018. This update will resolve the issues of lagging and skipping during gameplay on certain iOS devices. Android device users will notice a decrease in loading times on certain screens. What this all basically means is that we're moving on to the game engine that is currently being used in FGO JP right now. Now I can't express to you how important this is because for a while, since the beginning of the game, we've been on a different version of the game than FGO JP. They've been constantly moving further ahead. Now that we're on the same engine, it will be even easier to get some of the quality of life changes that are currently on JP as of now and the animation updates that are there as well. So expect to see that. But if you go ahead and look forward, the support devices, remember, if you might remember back in the day, there was a list of supported devices that um, was released by FGO US. So if you scroll on down here, you'll see that supported devices will not change with the game engine update. Essentially what that means is last year, they released a list of devices that would, uh, no longer work with the version of FGO. Now is the previous version. That list has not changed. So if you're playing FGO NA right now, then you're good to go. But it did suggest that you will need to create a transfer number. What that is, is, is the transfer code that you'll be able to access your account in case you switch devices. That's normally when you use it, but since we're going to an entirely new engine, there is a very small chance that your account can be lost in that. So if you haven't already done that, go ahead and when you go to the menu, go to my room and when we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see issue transfer number. Go ahead and follow the new process. If you already have one, either keep it or just to be sure, make a new one because there's no way to reset the password once you set it. Now, as we scroll on, you'll go ahead and see that the system requirements for this game engine update is as follows. The OS compatible with iOS 10.0 or higher, and this is devices for iPhones 5 or higher, iPad 3rd generation or higher, iPad mini 2 or higher, and the iPod touch 6th generation. It is in your best interest to confirm the system requirements here on this page, rather than trusting what's on your device. You just wanna be 100% sure that you're matching up. Now for smartphones or tablets with Android 4.1 or higher, you're in the clear, but you're gonna need two gigabytes or more of RAM. That automatically makes you incompatible with Intel CPUs if you don't necessarily know what that is. Basically, if you're not playing the game now, you don't have to worry about that. However, the two gigabytes of RAM is important. That's 0.5 more RAM than the game was requiring before. It's requiring more processing power. So make sure that you have enough RAM on your device currently to optimally play FGO on this new engine. As you can see here, it is possible that the game will not work on some devices, even with the recommended version of higher, and it's incompatible with beta versions of the OS. So you have a beta version of either iOS or Android 4.0 or higher, you might wanna get out of that. It is not gonna work um, with FGO at this time. As we scroll down, we read further, after the update, users with certain Android devices may experience lagging during battle and certain visual effects that may not be displayed correctly when battery saver mode or other energy saving functions are enabled. If you encounter this issue, take the following steps. All you gotta do is turn off energy saving mode or power saving mode. Um, it's essentially make sure you're powered up, you're charged up, and if you're on the go, if you absolutely don't need that power saver mode in, just turn it off or make sure it's plugged into a wall or plugged into the car or wherever you are to play this game. Please don't play this game while driving. Anyway, point is, that's a couple things that can help you out that you can look out for. And that's really about it um, for this. This is a really important update. I wanted to make sure everyone was made aware of it um, just in case you uh, missed the news changes. But so far, we are full steam ahead. We are literally over a week in to Guda Guda Meiji Restoration rerun event. So, it will end on the 19th, that's in four days. Expect the hunting quest to be coming around then, and soon after that, Guda Guda 3 event. 
So be on the lookout for videos from us on that. We'll have an ex expressive guide. And personally, we'll be working with Lord Asher to make sure we get some very important grinding information to all you fellow masters. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Are you excited? Are you concerned about this update? Are you excited for the prospect and what this brings? Are we gonna get early animation updates? Are we gonna get early quality of life changes? Let me know down in the comments down below. My name is Musaki from the Academy of Gurus and we're logging out. See ya.